Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use image J software for copying the image for applying a scale bar and how you can mark the colored image. Before going to the main tutorial, I'm going to show you the internet option from where you can download the image J. This is the address bar from where you can download the image J. I will give you the address in the description box. And one thing is that you can also use the image J without installing from the website. So if you want to use the image J from website, just click on run image J in the browser. Then it will uh, run from your browser. This may take some time. Now the image is ready for use from the browser, but one drawback is that the plugins. Plugins are difficult to, uh, to correlate with this online browser. That means the browser version is uh, quite difficult for using the plugin. So I'm going to use the portable version of image J. So to use the portable version of image J, you have to download the image J. If you click on the download, they will show a different types of operating system. I'm using the Windows. So I'm going to click this one. After clicking this one, it, it will be downloaded in here so you can see that it is downloaded in here this is the image software after extracting it it gives you this type of of uh, extracted files and from these files you have to click on this image j after clicking this image j it will open and before using this one, we will require an, a plugin. The name of this plugin is Bioformats Packets. So Bioformat Packets are available from the plugin site. And this is the site from where you can download the Bioformat Packets. And this is the Bioformat Packets downloading site. I will give you the address in the description box. From this web, uh, web address, you have to download this bioformat package. Okay, after downloading this bioformat package, you have to copy the bioformat package and paste this in the plugins, plugin folder. In the plugin folder, you have to paste the bioformat package. Okay. After accomplishing this one, the image is ready for app applying. So this is my image there. It is now ready for application. Now, uh, let me show you the image that open the image there and drag the main file, drag the main file into the image there software. Now a, a dialog box will open and you have to click on split channels then hit the ok button and it will give you the splitted channels these are the splitted emails of the channels so i have uh, selected a portion and uh, the portion must be square in size so uh, i am going to copy the source information so as that so that all the images that i cut uh, to, uh, ensures the same ratio to ensure that go to the edit go to the selection click on specify now you can see the y height and x coordinate y coordinate value i am going to change this into 230 and this also 230 so and the x coordinate and y coordinate value is specific for this region so i am not going to change this one and uh, i have to 
remember this coordinate value so that while I am cropping the images for other colors, the same ratio is maintained. So I'm copying the information, I click on OK. So after specifying the region, now I'm going to apply image stock. So if I crop this one, then I have to crop individually. So I'm going to uh, apply the image stock. So go to the image, select stock, and image to stock, select the image to stock. Then this window will appear. Then you have to ensure the two tick marks, use titles as tables, keep source image. Uh, I am going to change this, the title. Now click on OK. Now you can see a new window has opened and here you will find the four images. Three, four. Four images in the same plate. And you do not have to bother about cutting the individual images. So I'm going to select a region and specify the region by clicking on Edit. Go to the selection. Choose specify. And you should remember the number 230 and the upper portion was 502 and y coordinate was 702 so this specific region has been selected now click on ok now you have to cut the image for cut the system you have to you have to Crop the system and you have to click on Control Shift and X. Control Shift X. Okay, Control Shift X. Now, the four image has been cut into pieces. These are the images. So, if you want to copy this image, you have to go into the Edit option, select Copy to System, and paste this image. Yes, this is the first image. Then again, go to the stock image. Scroll to the second one. To edit, copy to image, copy to the system. That's paste. This is the second image. Okay, and uh, you have to remember the individual channel name. And this is the C3, it's the gray. This is C2, this is red, this is C1, C1 is green, and this is C0, C0 is blue. Remember this part. It will be required for us. Now I'm going to apply a scale bar in this image. To apply the scale bar, go to the analyze, then select the tool. From the tool, select the scale bar. And uh, if you do not check on the height text bar, then it will appear in the just below the bar, I am going to hide this one and the wide should be five micrometer and the height should be five micrometer. Thickness, pixel, everything is okay. Now click on okay. Uh, uh, scale bar has been applied, but I only need scale bar for this image. So I am going to copy this one to the system because I do not need the other ones scale bar. So this is the image with the scale bar. Now I'm going to merge the color images. So to merge the image, you have to go to the image and see the color. And then you have to choose the merge channel. And I, as I have told you that in, in this case, uh, the 
green uh, green is c is equal to one and red is c is equal to two and as, before that i am i am showing you again this is the blue that is c is equal to zero c is equal to one is green and c is equal to two is red and c is equal to three is gray so we have to mark the color first i'm going to mark the color green and red so the red channel is c is equal to two red and green is c is equal to one so then you have to click on create composite and click on keep source image let's click on okay and this is the marks color of green and red green and red okay so green was one and red was two now i'm going to mark the green and blue so green is one and blue is zero one and zero so image color marcel green is one and blue is zero let's click on okay this is the green and blue marked color now i'm going to mark the blue and red so blue and red blue is zero and red is two mark channel red is two and blue is zero okay this is the mask color of blue and red and so finally i'm going to mark three color red blue and green so and this three color will be red is two green is one blue is zero click on okay uh, this is the marks three color marks image and the final will be the four color image so red is two green is one blue is zero and gray is three click on okay and this is the marks color for four colors in single image and now i'm going to split them uh, that means i'm going to crop them the same way and i have this i cropped the other ones so uh, first i'm going to crop this one this contains green green and red so just randomly select an area put the image edit and selection then specify to 30 to 30 502 and 702 so this is the specific area okay and i have to click on control shift x this has been cut so this in this way uh, you can use the image software for cutting for cropping and merging the image that's all for today thank you all for watching this uh, watching this tutorial have a nice day